Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. From this video session guys, we are going to start a new tutorial called Redux Framework in WordPress. So if you are beginner to this channel guys, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions where we have made several customizations in WordPress. Okay, so because guys, this is our first tutorial. So in this video session, we mainly discuss about the normal or introduction part of Redux Framework in WordPress. Okay, so the first point that it contains about the introduction that what is Redux Framework in WordPress. Second, we will see about the features list and the th third, we will download the installation folder from its official website and install into our local system. Okay, so if we will discuss about its introduction part guys, then we find a simple and easy understandable definition of Redux Framework. Okay, so this is the introduction part that I have taken from its official website and the definition says that Redux is a simple, truly extensible option framework for WordPress themes and plugins. Okay, built on the WordPress settings API, Redux supports a multitude of field types as well as custom error handling, custom field and validation types and import and export functionality. Okay, so basically guys, it provides an interface which basically uses to provide the multiple theme options for managing and customizing the theme options for our website. Okay, so some of the means great features of Redux framework in WordPress contains that rich theme options kit for admin means basically it provides multiple theme options for customizations or to operating for admin to control the website. Okay, and the second that is easy to develop rather than hard coding because in our previous video sessions guys if you remember then in our playlist we have developed called theme options and uh, the tutorial you can find here WordPress theme options but in this playlist guys we actually made hard coded to make or build our WordPress theme options okay so instead of hard coding you could actually use called Redux framework which provides the same interface as well as attractive interface for managing our theme okay and the third thing is guys it's easy to manage means a non-technical user if he does not know he don't know any type of coding then he could actually also handle the redux framework and the theme customization features from backend okay and the fourth this is not the feature guys but actually i have added in this features lead that is documentation is too good to study and understand that is what is redux framework and how actually could use with wordpress and handles the feature with wordpress as long as we actually dive into the redux framework tutorial then we will see all these features into great action okay so first of all we have to actually know about the what is redux framework in wordpress so basically redux framework provides an interface to our administrator panel where actually we can make or control our website look and feel and appearances okay and these are the features list that we have seen under this section okay so as long as we will move into redux framework then we will see these definition sections in great detail so don't worry at all at this situation okay and the next that how can we download and install the setup folder for our redux framework to our local host wordpress setup okay so to make the wordpress setup to our local system just you need to go call website just type redux framework in google the first link actually you could find about the redux framework.com just click on this link and here is the link that i have clicked okay so just open up into the new tab and now this is the official website guys that actually we got from this link okay reduxframework.com so this is the official website guys actually provides you the better understanding about the documentation section of redux framework just you have to go under the documentation section click on knowledge base okay so while clicking on knowledge base you actually you will be redirected to this page okay redux option framework so while scrolling you can see multiple options actually it has been provided to develop our redux framework theme options okay each and every section guys we will use in our upcoming videos so don't worry at all at this situation okay we need to understand the functionality or the introduction part of redux framework at this situation so basically what we have seen so far we have seen about the introduction features as well as the features list 
okay so I am I would like to add a new feature in this list guys and the feature is something like this that it provides look and feel something like premium theme okay so if I go to the documentation section docs.reduxframework.com if I click on this link so something called launch the redux builder so while clicking on this button I will be redirected to this page build.reduxframework.com okay so before opening this page guys you need to register in this website okay there are few simple steps that you have to follow while registering first you need to fill your username password and a U email address it will send a confirmation email password to your mail just you need to click on the confirmation mail that actually you will get into your mail okay so after clicking on that you will be redirected to this website again and now you can log into this website and click on the launch the redux builder button after clicking on this button you will be redirected to this page where you can actually see that it actually provides multiple options to generate your files okay so right now you don't worry at all about this boxes and these statements okay so just I'm going to generate the installation folder for our local host okay so that I can install redux framework for my local WordPress setup okay so when when I click on require embed redux then it provides a interface okay so it asks like that I will require this plugin suggest an embed and embed only so just click on embed only after clicking on that it says that settings have changed you should save them just click on save changes and now successfully we have saved this setting to these files okay so just click on the next click on standard options and now this is something a global variable actually we are going to use with this theme options what we will generate to this setup okay so just change something called online web tutor I will actually explain about this global variable in our upcoming videos why we are making this name right here okay so don't worry at all so just I'm writing online web tutor you could actually suggest or write any name on your own okay so now just go to second option that is Dave underscore mode obviously it is under development mode just click on on and now you can see in the next option called UCDN so there are multiple options in this list okay so just I am going to write some of the conditions like like first I have choose development mode on okay is it okay it is for development mode and let's say that display name something called OWT theme options okay and now this is display version okay so let's pass 1.0.0 this is only a display version of this test setup okay and then now next is page slug so let's say that OWT options okay and now page title this is not sample options this is called online web tutor let's say online web tutor options okay so update notice it will be on intro text footer text admin bar it is menu type as menu if I will select sub menu guys that it will provide that after creating this setup the what position if we are going to attach this setup either if we select like sub menu then under the sub menu sections under these sub menus actually our setup will be appeared okay so right now I want that our theme options means tab should appear at this list not within this list okay so that's why I need to select instead of sub menu let's say menu while clicking on this menu section our generated folder will set up the theme option setting right here otherwise if I will select something like called sub menu after clicking on that let's select any of the sub menus like post media link appearances so it will generate the setup within these sub menu sections okay so just I am clicking on this menu section just click on that and let's say that menu title is not sample option it is called online web tutor options okay menu icon is left blank 
priority and something like that so all the necessary things actually we need to change all we have done right now okay the most important thing guys within this installation folder about this global variable I will discuss and explain about this the useful variable after creating this setup okay so just going to underneath and click on save changes okay so what we have actually updated it will be saved into our theme folder okay so just click on hint section left empty as well click on advanced option no need to change anything into this also so just click on redux version this is the stable value release that actually we are working on okay so just click on redux field also we don't want to change anything just click on generate for your files okay and this actually indicates that after generating this folder you actually need to put this folder into your WP content under your activated theme folder and you need to pass the file path into your functions.php file okay so just click on generate admin folder after clicking on this button guys it actually downloads our generated folder and the generated folder name should be something called admin folder.zip you need to copy this folder means zipped folder put into your WP content under themes folder and under the activated theme so right now 2017 theme is the current activated theme so I have to put this generated folder called admin folder into this theme okay so just I am unzipping this just click on extract here and now the folder has been extracted right here okay and the next thing that we uh, that I need to do that after clicking on this admin folder I need to give admin dot init file path into functions dot php file which is right here okay so just I'm clicking on this file after clicking on this file I need to provide the file path of just going to its admin folder this is our generated Redux framework folder just click on admin and this is the file path actually I need to provide within functions dot php file okay so just go to functions dot php file now let's say that require or let's say instead of require let's include ones okay so basically I have used include ones get template directory is a WordPress function which basically returns the path up to the activated theme folder right here okay so these all path actually we will get by using get template directory so after getting the path we need to move into the admin folder inside this admin folder we need to move under the admin folder okay so that's why I have passed admin folder within this folder I have to go in admin folder and now this is the file actually we need to attach with this admin init.php which is right here okay so just save this file go to your browser and open your, your WordPress setup just refresh this page while refreshing this page guys actually you will get several notifications about Redux framework into the dashboard page okay so don't worry at all about these errors right now okay so now you can see that while attaching this file link into our functions.php file it has included a menu section called online web tutor options this is the option guys that we have provided while making this generate folder while clicking on this just click on redux augment standard options and now if I scroll then this is online web tutor options that I have actually provided while creating that folder just click on this folder and now just scroll down so these are the informations guys actually we, we can see or uh, this is the interface actually the redux from framework provides okay so basically we will understand about these things in our coming videos so now what we have done so far we have understand about its functionality about its introduction part as well as by going to its official document website we have generated a folder called admin folder okay by going through all these actions now after downloading this file we have to put this downloaded file within our activated theme after putting that you need to unzip that folder so right now I have made unzip of that and now link this file to your functions.php file to make the theme folder actually theme options folder into action with the theme about these options guys we will understand or discuss in our upcoming videos 
okay so successfully we have integrated redux framework with our local system okay so all these links guys I will drop into the description section of this video so please find about these sections from this description video okay so right now now we have understand about what is redux framework in options so basically on summarization we can see that redux framework provides a rich set of WordPress theme options instead of doing hard code okay so basically in our previous playlist that is WordPress theme options we did our about hard code and made all theme options customization customizing theme toolkits about this hard coded system but instead of doing hard code we actually we are going to use called redux framework okay which provides a rich set of controls to provide into our theme options okay so basically we will understand each section of redux framework in our upcoming videos okay as well as we will have seen about its feature list so basically some of its features have listed below like rich set of theme toolkit easy to develop rather than hard coding easy to manage documentation is too good to study we will understand about this point in later so this is not the feature actually I have written inside this features list okay and also one more thing important thing guys that it provides the interface like a premium theme as you can see this is the appearance that actually we got after installing that folder and it provides the interface something like a premium theme setup okay so successfully guys we have integrated a redux framework generated folder from this link to our wordpress setup so in our next upcoming videos guys we will discuss something extra in this redux framework tutorial okay so if you have any query guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day